So here you go guys on YouTube, here's a video today of a lesson that I did with Anthony who is a six handicapper, um, done very well over the last few years playing to a bringing his handicap down but he feels like he's got to a stalled stage at six handicaps. He's had lessons before but never never with myself, this is the first lesson he had with myself down here at Trafford Golf Centre. Um, and the issue that, that Anthony had was what he described as a pull. So he said he could hit greens, but he would often miss them to the left. Um, his normal shot shape is a draw, and he would tend to aim more to the right to stop the ball going to the left, which you might see why uh, why he was then missing the ball more even further to the left. So we've got Anthony here on setup on the on the left hand side, and and Anthony's kind of like I say he's had lessons before, but never quite understand the ball flight laws that the the face has the most impact on on. Uh, direction of the ball and then the swing path then has the most influence on the curvature the difference between the two then creates the shape and the severity of the shape after that so we see Anthony here on the left hand side this is before we see this is a six iron very closed stance so even though we go in pretty much over this net here just in front of us very closed stance and the takeaway was very inside super inside and then the downswing was ridiculous ridiculously inside you look at this position here as the club comes into the golf ball it's way on the inside now interestingly when Anthony was saying that he was missing the ball left and pulling it I asked him why he said he felt like he was coming over the top and hitting it to the left so coming over the top of it and actually hitting it to the left and hitting a, a genuine pull but that really wasn't the fact it really wasn't what was happening what Anthony was doing he was entering the golf ball quite severely from the inside path and then that's why that curvature of the golf ball would move a long way from right all the way to left. So we can see the ball here start down that target line, even just a bit to the right, and then started to curve viciously to the left and would miss the green every single time. So we explained a few things. We explained about swing path and how that makes the ball curve a long way and the, and the face of the golf ball makes the ball start on its initial line or has the most dominance of the ball starting on its initial line. And we squared Anthony up, so we got his stance a lot squarer to target. And what I got him to feel like he was doing was swinging much more across the ball. So keeping the club face square, but swinging across it like he would almost be trying to play a fade swing. Almost like he was trying to hit over the top, of, over the top, which is the swing that he felt like he was doing to make the ball go left. So we squared everything up, we kept the club face square and we hit it much more across the line now watch the downswing here this downswing is just unbelievable now the shaft of the club comes straight through the bicep then just above the forearm and then in, in this position is just a little bit outside the hands so he's going to hit much more of a of a fade type swing you see the difference there of the swing path is unbelievable here on this right hand side then the, the club head came through the ball in a much more neutral manner and he just hit absolute bullets absolute straight shots they were brilliant great connection great ball flight and just a real consistency of the shot as well but Anthony felt like he was 100% going to hit that ball left because we'd set his stance what felt to him more left and he was swinging across his body more to the left he felt like he was definitely going to hit the ball left but he didn't hear beautiful little little uh, fade golf shots well, even straight golf shots, to be fair, straight into the middle of uh, our target area that we're aiming for. So a huge improvement. One of the small things we just tweaked was his uh, lateral movement as well. I'll just show you that from the front view. So if we look at it now from this front view, the first thing that Anthony described was that his ball position was a long way back. It looks a long way back because the stance was so closed. And also, because of this movement in his backswing, if we watch this, see the side movement here, look at lateral slide there all the way onto his right side. The ball position would almost have to be back. So we talked about staying more central, so they talked about staying more in a fixed position, pop the ball position a little bit further forward through six iron, and the improvement here was just scary good. Watch how little he moves his head now. So you look at the top of the backswing position, and that is just an enormous difference. See the, the, how little movement we've got here now on the right hand side? So when he came back into hit, his consistency of strike dramatically improved, and it got him hitting the ball after the ball. It got hit in the ground after the ball more, rather than getting it so inside and normal scooping up on the ball. So guys, that was a, a lesson that I did with today to get him hitting the ball a lot straighter and understanding his ball flights a lot more. And what was important there is what I wanted to, to kind of stress in this video, is that your golf swing will often lie to you. 
the feelings that you encounter in your golf swing are often not real. You know, so it, where Anthony said, I feel like I'm swinging over the top, wasn't the case at all. It really wasn't the case. He was actually doing quite the opposite and swinging too much from the inside. And also the fact that when Anthony was hitting that ball to the left, what did he try and do? He tried to aim more to the right. The more he aimed more to the right, the more his swing path was inside, and that would make him hit the ball even further to the left. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it helps helps you understand your ball flights a little bit more and how sometimes the swing can lie to you. That's why it's important to take lessons. Also, get on launch monitor technology. Uh, GC2 was showing us the spin axes change from 22 degrees to the left to pretty much 3 degrees to the right. So, we hit from a 22 degree big vicious overdraw to a little fade which was much straighter down to his target line so guys thanks very much for watching please do give it a thumbs up comment in the description down below comment in the box below and i'll endeavor to reply to as many as i can thanks very much for watching and well done anthony great session